Good morning, folks. Beautiful day. Perfect day to go camping. So, I actually got a cancellation at one of the, I say local provincial parks. It's three and a half hours from here. So, we are loading up and we're going to go camping on the long weekend here. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. There are tons of trails. I'm going to show you guys the campground. Probably most of you are not familiar with the area up here, but if you live close enough and you've always wondered, I'll show you the campground, what there is to do there. There's a beautiful river, the Spanish River. There's a waterfalls. Uh, that's where the kids swim. That's what the beach is on. That's what the campground is on. Uh, there's hiking trails, a six kilometer trail that comes right out of the campground. There are other trails close to Manitoulin Island, which is, uh, you know, a 45 minute drive from there. We're going to go hike some of those trails. So stick with me, guys. Let's go do some long weekend Canadian camping. So I want to talk about the truck for a second because we're going to have a pretty big load. I've actually got a nice big wood box with me for this weekend. Uh, they recommend that you use their wood, of course, because they're going to charge you 60 bucks for that much wood. I had a dead ash just here in the swamp. I cut it down the other night. That will last us all weekend. What I'm interested with the truck is this is the Dodge Ram 2020, the, the V6, okay? This isn't the Hemi. Last year, pulling Tom's trailer was the eight foot trailer. My trailer is a little bigger, it's 12. I was getting on the highway, pulling Tom's trailer, 10 liters per 100 kilometers with that truck. So I'm curious to see my trailer is fairly heavy compared to Tom's. The extra four feet makes a big difference. That's what she said, huh? Four feet <laughs> makes a difference. It does, it's a lot of weight. Between that and the box of wood, I'm curious to see, we'll probably have about the same amount of camping gear. My family hasn't changed in size. Uh, maybe I've got an extra 15 pounds here, I don't know. I'm going to guess 12 liters per 100 kilometers pulling this trailer and that box of wood and all our gear. We'll find out when we get there, three and a half hours. Along with the hiking, of course, we'll do some photography. And I'm bringing the handheld metal detector. We're going to dive in the river. There are hundreds of kids coming over this falls and tubes and playing in the waterfalls at the river. So there's got to be rings, there's got to be jewelry, and we're going to try to find it with that. So actually, the load of stuff we have is not as big as I thought it was going to be. Actually, we got tons of room left. So, hey, good packing. Good job, Reeds. Oh, I made the call too soon. We're not done. We're not done packing, apparently. There it is, guys, all closed up. And I'd like to say that if your marriage can survive this process, it can survive anything. I caught my wife's hand in the door, crushed her fingers, and then I malleted my finger, trying to close the hitch there. So yeah, if you can survive this camping thing, you're good to go. No comment. Cruising along at 100 kilometers an hour with the air conditioning on. Am I a good guesser or what? truck is showing 12 liters per 100 kilometers all right we are there 237 kilometers 13 liters per 100 just in case anybody wanted to know v6 efficiency versus v8 pulling power i had tons of power i could pass people with the little trailer on there no problem so here's our campsite Spacious. And then we got the pop up. I oh, think I'm going to nap while the kids set up this campsite. Catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, that was a red box. You see water down here, so this must be the river. All right, let's see what this river looks like. Looks like we got some beach down here.
Normally I'm not a camping at a provincial park kind of guy. I've never done it as an adult. My grandparents were big into camping. They used to take us everywhere when we were kids. Um, but as an adult, you know, I've never really wanted to camp 15 feet away from other people. <laughs> I like to go out into the wild bush, but I get it. The wife and kids want to leave the house. First time out of the house in a year, so hey, we are camping at a provincial park. And I'm going to hike some trails, do some photography, and have fun. I promise. I rubbed two sticks together to start that, but I couldn't hold the phone at the same time, so you'll have to take my word for it. I'll get it. Once I get a point, you can stop filming. I'll just, I'll loop it. Once I get a point, it'll, it'll look like I got 15 points. That, that's not how it works. There, now we're getting homey. So we need to burn all the wood and eat all the candy so we get even better gas mileage on the way home. I guess that only works if everybody has a big poop. <laughs> Evening down at the river. We're going to take a look at the chutes. There's a lookout up here. It is beautiful here. Are you saying you want to quit? No. You forfeit? I'm winning. That was for serve. <laughs> morning. Fire's going, face is washed, shirt has changed. In an hour I'm going to be hiking the six kilometer loop from here, taking some photographs, and then coming back this afternoon to swim and metal detect in the river. That's today's plan. I just got to get the kids up first. Nine o'clock, 6.5 kilometers of trail along the river, both sides. Here we go. Oh, I've been preaching to you guys about my camera system how I always have a safety paracord on there well the main snap right there just broke and my camera dropped and the paracord saved my four thousand dollar kit 
Oh boy, so again, guys, I recommend all the time, right, two safety points. The actual metal broke. Can't believe that happened. I thought it would could never happen, but it just happened, seriously. <sighs> Lots of spots along the river to come down and have a look. I think you're allowed to fish along here. Beautiful. You wouldn't want to fall in there though. Raging current, that's for sure. Second look out. Nobody needs to come do the shoots trail because you'll see it all in my video. Right there is a prime example of what not to do with your little kids. That is a very dangerous section of river right there. Slippery slanted rocks going down into the chutes and they've got little kids. I feel a lot of people that go missing on these trails is from things like that, just doing stupid things. When you're in a group of people and somebody falls in, yeah. Okay, we know what happened to you, but when you're by yourself, the same thing can happen, right? And I think it does quite often. People just underestimate Mother Nature. That's always a bad sign. We'll just skip that trail. Police tape? Yeah. Keep moving. Oh yeah, arches everywhere you go. Even in the provincial park, look at that. My wife says I'm not allowed to look for the big guy on this trip. Just saying, just saying. Gary can't swim without his floaty.
<laughs> the, the sand is very deep here, so the metal detector is not really going off. I guess it's not strong enough. I don't know. Either that or this beach is super clean, and it shouldn't be. There are hundreds of people using this beach any long weekend, you know, so. Hi. <laughs> Any day you can return home with a truckload of dead unicorns, that's been a good hunting trip, my friends. A good hunting trip. All right, this is camping dinner right here, guys. Doritos. Bit of hamburger. Or a lot of hamburger. Some lettuce. Tomato. Shake it up and it's a meal in a bag. Thank you. If you're not hanging your wet towels on a hockey stick, you're not doing it Canada style. It's 10.30, fire is going, I can't stay awake any longer. It has been a long day. Eyes just will not stay open. Time to hit the trailer. Yeah, that's what we wake up to this morning, 6.30. Some lady just down from us is yelling, Knock it off! 
off. I just took a walk down to the edge of the campground. It's it's not even in the campground. It's coming from the town. Sounds like they're drilling a well, maybe, or something. Bang, bang, bang. Camp style life. Maybe I should yell, knock it off. It's just echoing through the whole campground. <laughs> I've got morning wood. Actually, wait, that sounded wrong. I've got wood. We need to finish off this morning before we head home, so a little morning fire. There it is, the last stick of wood. Yep, day three requires a new shirt. Nobody said anything about underwear. Come back to life, Mr. Unicorn. Come back to life. There he is. Heh, <laughs> and the kids thought I was blowing that up for them to use. Yes, I've had more fun with the blow up. I was going to say toys this weekend. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Best camping wife ever. So I take the kid camping, I give her a knife, tell her to make a weapon, thinking she's going to make a spear or a club, and this is what she makes. A blow dart. <laughs> I want to know how she hollowed that out. <laughs> That's pretty innovative, dear. Good job. Busy day at the beach down here today. Oh, it's raining on my painting. I guess that's the end of today's uh, painting session. Okay, so the only things left to do are pack up, reset this gasometer in the truck, and head for home. Tripometer's reset. Everybody go have a big poop. Yep, still raining. Okay, so that's the return trip. I'm not quite at home, but we're at the cheap gas station. Yeah. So that's it, 13.1 on the way home. I don't even remember what we got on the way there, but that sounds familiar. I'm gonna blame it on wet highways if that's worse than on the way there, because we had no wood, less food, less stuff in the coolers, and less gas in the tank. So it should be lower, but something tells me it's not lower. Eh, 13.1 either way. You can't beat that pulling a trailer, right? So hey, I'll take it.